Hey guys, Matt Smallbone from Heartland RV here. Michael Minitel with Heartland RV as well. We are standing in front of the brand new Fuel F-255 floor plan. Matt, why don't we take them up front and show them what it's all about. Okay, so now we're in front of the brand new F-255 floor plan. Some really cool features I wanna point out just on this front area. First and foremost is gonna be this one piece fiberglass front cap that does have a rock gut underneath. So when you're traveling down the road and your uh, tires are spitting up rocks, you don't have to worry about this crack in the, the fiberglass. As well as two 30 pound LP tanks, that's gonna run your furnace and all of your interior gas appliances. And then up front here, you're gonna have your power tongue jack by Lippert. So Michael, some really cool features in our front storage here, if you wanna to touch on them real quick. Of course, so this is our front storage compartment. You'll notice we have a bunch of space with this. A few things I wanna to touch upon the inside of this is this is where your solar disconnect's gonna be, along with your charge controller for your Sol 190 package that you get standard with these units. It's pretty amazing. Another really cool thing to point out on the exterior of the coach is gonna be the 4,000 Onan Cummins generator that already comes installed from the factory, mm -hmm. as well as your fueling station in the back. So if you're ever out there at your campsite, right. your, your toys are running low on fuel, you don't have to worry about that. That pretty much sums up everything on the outside. Why don't we go inside and show them the rest of the coach. So Michael, now that we're inside of the brand new F-255 floor plan for fuel, right. some really cool features I wanna point out on the inside here. First and foremost, this is a 16 foot, seven inch garage. Right. So a ton of space, as well as already installed tie downs. So you're gonna have nine tie downs. So whether you're traveling with an ATV, right. uh, motorcycles, dirt bikes, whatever, um, you can make sure that those toys are secured when you're going down the road. Yeah, no, that's great. It's a really cool feature. I'm kind of standing in the area, right, for bench seating. Cool thing is these bench seatings, they actually collapse for, uh, you can sleep more people. So along with the top unit that comes down, this bench seating that collapses, you know, you're sleeping for, you know, upwards of four people. For sure. Um, really good feature to have. I say we take them on the outside and kind of show them how that patio system works. Sounds good. So walking onto the patio deck right now, this really cool feature for this floor plan is this screen door we have. If you wanna keep out bugs, mosquitoes, all of that, super convenient feature to have. Yeah, awesome. And also those two um, shades do come down well, so you have that added, added pri privacy as well. So that's, that's also massive. Absolutely. And so now that we're standing on the, uh, on the patio kit here, you can tell that this really just extends that floor plan space. Right. Just really awesome. Um, right now we do have the patio kit set up too. So if you're traveling with dog or young kids or something like that, you don't have to worry about them falling off or anything like that. Great space to have for entertainment, if you're tailgating, all that, this is really kind of the place to be. Absolutely. And really easy to actually bring all the way down to the ground too. So when you're unloading mm -hmm. and loading your toys, you can actually just bring them right up through the ramp. Absolutely. All right, Matt, now that we're in the kitchen area, a few things I kind of wanted to point out would be starting with our pantry space. Just how deep this pantry space is, you're gonna be getting three doors so you can store all of your goodies for your camping trip. Next to this is obviously gonna be your refrigerator. It is a 12 volt, 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. Opens up from both sides, which is super convenient as well. You yeah, want, yeah, yeah, you want to tell us kind of about, you know, the rest of the kitchen for us? For sure, and that fridge is so cool because you have that door right there. So if someone's accessing that door, you can always open it from the other side. So right. you're, not, you're not knocking into them or anything like a that. A huge benefit. Sweet. Um, one thing I really want to point out about our kitchen is there is no wasted space here. All this stuff is, is really just applicable for the toy hauler too. So up here, large space, like Michael touched on, just added space up there. Down here for your sink, you do have a single uh, basin stainless steel sink. The benefit to that is you can wash your bigger pots and pans. Gives you a lot of space for food prep as well. You do have the three burner gas um, stove top right here as well, mm -hmm. as well as brand new is gonna be the Suburban Air Fryer. So benefit to that is, I mean, it makes crispy wings, it makes crispy French fries, oh, yeah. really easy to use. Um, and I mean, shoot, I use my air fryer all the time. Yeah, you don't have to bring it with you, right? Absolutely. And then above it, you do have your larger uh, microwave now too. So instead of the small um, little RV microwave, oh, now, yeah. it's, now it's the residential style with a, with a large TV above it as well. So something cool about the fuel travel trailers too is that they do come with these captain's chairs that are super comfortable. They right. got that race feel to them. They, oh, do, yeah. they do recline as well. Um, above us as well is a ton of storage. Right. I know we were mentioning that in the toy hauler. Finding storage is important, so 
we made sure that we did not waste any space. Big time, big time. Above us as well is gonna be your 15K AC unit, so keep you nice and cool during the summer months. I think that kind of wraps up for the kitchen area. Why don't we take them in the bedroom, show them what else is new for this floor plan. Matt, now that we're in the bedroom, kind of want to point out this is a king bed on a east to west bed slide out, which is nice because you get space from the right and the left of the bed to get around your mattress. Above the bed, you actually get even more cabinet space. Again, can't get enough of that in a unit like this. For sure. And to piggyback off all that space too, over here behind this mirror is actually a very deep wardrobe. So you can store all of your clothes, shoes, bags, purses, just really a, no wasted space there. And then next to it, you're gonna have this ledge. It's very nice, as well as two USB plugins. You have your regular plugins here, and then you actually have a wireless charging port over there in the corner. Another thing to kind of point out in this bedroom too, mm -hmm. is that underneath here, you actually do have a generator start button too. So you right. can start the generator from inside the coach. So if it's below freezing outside and you're, uh, right. you don't wanna go freeze out, out in the morning when it's real dark outside, you can start the generator from inside. Now that we're in the bathroom, a few things I want to point out is just how big this shower is for a travel trailer. Above that, you actually get a skylight, allows for natural light to come into the unit. Sink, a lot of cabinet space underneath here, as well as your toilet. Matt, after walking this floor plan, I'm really in love with it. Yeah, absolutely. Just a ton of cool features, um, but also just no wasted space. Right. So really just, just geared for that end consumer. Absolutely. And if you guys want any more information on all Heartland products, please visit heartlandrvs.com.